Hello students, today we will discuss the molecular biology of nitrogenase complex. Nitrogen is an essential element contained in many biomolecules like proteins, nucleic acids means necessary to sustain life, right? Proteins are composed up of amino acids that have an amine group and uh, nucleic acids like DNA and RNA have nitrogen as a ring structure. So nitrogen is abundantly available in Earth's atmosphere in the form of dinitrogen gas, right? You know, the air in Earth's atmosphere is made up of approximately 78% of nitrogen and 21% of oxygen, right? Air uh, also has small amounts of other gases too, uh, like carbon dioxide, neon, hydrogen. So nitrogen is the most abundant naturally occurring gas in the air. Yet, most organisms are unable to metabolize nitrogen because it is relatively inert. Most organisms obtain their nitrogen from fixed forms such as ammonia uh, or nitrite, right? So, conversion of nitrogen to ammonia is known as nitrogen fixation. Nitrogen fixation occurs in three different ways. Number one, through geochemical processes such as lightning. Number two, biologically through the action of enzyme nitrogenase and third industrially through Haber-Bosch process right so today we will discuss the structure and mechanism of action of nitrogenase enzyme nitrogenase enzyme is found only in a select group of microorganisms right this enzyme is anaerobic in nature and when it comes in contact with air it becomes inert all nitrogen fixing species symbiotic and non-symbiotic contain nitrogenase complex. So the conversion of nitrogen to ammonia is an energy demanding process. It utilizes energy in the form of ATPs, right? So this is the here reaction catalyzed by nitrogenase enzyme is given. So here one formal one molecule of uh, nitrogen, eight electrons, eight protons, and sixteen ATPs are required. And the product is two molecules of ammonia plus hydrogen plus 16 ADP plus 16 EI, right? So now structure. Nitrogenase enzyme occurs as three separate forms that use molybdenum, iron only and magnesium, right? Majority of the global nitrogen fixation is mainly attributed to the more efficient form that is molybdenum nitrogenase. Other two forms iron only and magnesium nitrogenases are often considered backup enzymes because these two forms are used only when molybdenum is limiting, right? So nitrogenase is made up of two component catalytic proteins, number one, an electron donor called iron protein and second, electron acceptor component, the molybdenum iron protein, right? The component proteins assemble only in the presence of ATP bound to iron protein, transfer electrons, and then dissociate. So this cycle is repeated multiple times to achieve nitrogen reduction, right? First crystal structures uh, for the nitrogenase uh, uh, proteins, molybdenum iron protein and iron protein, were published in 1992 for Azotobacter willandii, right? The core of each catalytic components is formed by nif d 2 k 2 heterotetramer of approximately 232-240 kd arranged around a two-fold symmetry axis. As you can see here, NIF, this nif d and nif k are proteins, right? So, this is, this part is made up of nif d and this is nif k, right? So, two subunits uh, means uh, NIF D uh, is of 55 kDa and uh, uh, 53 kDa of NIF K. D and K subunits are further structured into three globular domains with a canonical beta alpha beta fold. And you can see here four or five st uh, standard parallel beta sheets, these arrow. Uh, like structures here you can see into uh, means uh, these are uh, called beta sheets which are flanked by connecting 
alpha helices like coiled structures right so each of these domains the c terminal loops uh, emanating from beta strands interact with the two metal clusters of the protein right so molybdenum iron protein contains two type of metal sulfur cluster look at this picture p cluster this is one right and iron molybdenum cofactor means uh, this also known as iron molybdenum co means this site is believed to be the site of substrate binding substrate means nitrogen so nitrogen binds here right each p cluster this p cluster it is covalently linked to this molybdenum iron protein by 616 residue right so p cluster is believed to serve as an intermediate electron carrier during electron transfer from iron protein to iron molybdenum cofactor right each iron molybdenum cofactor consists of two non identical clusters you can see here these two non identical clusters this is one iron 4 sulfur 3 and molybdenum iron 3 sulfur 3 which are linked by three sulfide points right each iron molybdenum cofactor is covalently linked to alpha subunit of the protein by one cysteine residue and one histidine residue right electrons from iron protein enters the molybdenum iron protein at p cluster uh, as i already told you which then transfer this electron to iron molybdenum cofactors right once again listen carefully electrons from iron protein enters molybdenum iron protein at the p clusters which then transfer these electrons to iron molybdenum cofactors right so iron molybdenum cofactor then act as a site for nitrogen fixation with nitrogen binding in the central cavity of the cofactor as i already told you so now what is nitrogenase complexes right as uh, we have already discussed nitrogenase enzyme complex is made up of two component right iron protein and molybdenum iron protein you can see here right means um, dinitrogenase and dinitrogenase reductase these two parts right so first dinitrogenase part that is iron protein part this part harvest energy required for nitrogen fixation and this second part dinitrogenase reductase that is molybdenum iron protein it converts nitrogen into ammonia right these are the uh, in the first part that is protein iron protein here these are the alpha subunits and these are beta subunits right so this complex formation uh, between molybdenum iron protein and iron protein it plays a critical role in substrate reduction mechanism right so this is a complete complex uh, called nitrogenase complex right so now mechanism iron sulfur clusters of component 2 component 2 transfer electron to component 1 look at this diagram electrons are coming from atps right here first electron uh, will come to the iron protein part and then uh, will be transferred to p cluster and from here to molybdenum iron protein part means two component one so electrons flow from once again this these electrons flow from atp here the atp molecule to iron sulfur cluster right then to p cluster and then finally 
transfer to iron molybdenum cofactor means that leads to the reduction of uh, nitrogen here substrate nitrogen and eight protons and it will get converted into product that is two molecules of ammonia and hydrogen right so reduction of nitrogen to ammonia takes place at iron molybdenum cofactor of component one right so other uh, other than nitrogen fixation nitrogenase also carries out various other reactions it acts as uh, dehydrogenase and reduces proton to uh, dihydrogen or dihydrogen act as competitive inhibitor to nitrogenase and carbon monoxide act as non competitive inhibitor so uh, this is a mechanism means how electrons transferred from one component to another component and ultimately leads to the formation of product that is ammonia right so i hope uh, you have got it so if any question uh, you want to ask write in comment section right thank you so much